What's up? This is Ryan Little, and you're listening to That's Not Christian Podcast. Tune in. And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Yeah. yeah. What up, what up, what up? We back. It's your boy Switch. I'm here with your man hey. Jimmy. I'm here with What's your man Jay. I'm here on. with your man Ant. And we got our very, very special guest, Ryan Little. Yeah, let's go. What's, What's going up, on? What Super up? producer in the yeah, house. Welcome. What's going on, man? Oh, man. Yo. It's, a, it's, it's a pleasure to be here, man. Thank you all for having me. Thank you all nah, so much. I appreciate no you doubt, coming, man. bro. How's y'all? I've been, I've been a fan for, for a minute, bro. So Amen. it's good, man. Since 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 since, since uh, um, the dresser days. You know I mean? Oh, oh man, let's not talk about the dresser days. Oh man. But yeah, Yo, so for those for, the, for those who don't know, uh, Ryan Little used to do some videos, and uh, he used to talk in the in the in the beginning of the videos before he played the beat, and he'd be sitting next to like his his production studio was on top of the dress, <laughs> like on in his bedroom on the dresser. You know what I'm wow. saying? Like humble beginnings, man. So it's good to see like. You know, his setup has stepped up. Beats has stepped up. Beats was fire back then. You know what I mean? But, they still um, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, appreciate but it, man. Fire. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. That, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a long time, man, coming from that dresser. But, bro, yeah. Yeah, the okay. knees hitting the dresser? Bro, worst <laughs> feeling, man. Worst feeling. But, yeah, it's good to step up, man. Yo, we, I need to peep that video. I seen one with the in the kitchen. You was in the, I guess, in the kitchen or something like that? or like. So, so yeah, so my setup is literally right in front of my kitchen. So, anytime you see me shooting, you you might see my little oven in the background, you know, with the little you know, <laughs> the, the clock on it or whatever. But, yeah, man, yeah. but. Yeah, the dressing videos are something different, man. There's something different. <laughs> That's what's yeah. up, man. It was it's crazy. I, I I don't remember when I first heard Ryan Little's beats, but when I first heard one or two, I was like, yo, I'm hooked. So I used to so for the listeners and the viewers, I used to do a vlog every day a couple years ago. I use Ryan Little exclusively for every video. Wow. wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Same, same, same here. I, I went I went on YouTube and I was like. I looked for uh, Christian Beats, and then I looked for Christian Lo-Fi, and then he came up, and I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm going to use this joint. This was like back back in the dresser days. Wow. Yeah, man. Years ago. Wow. Years years yeah. ago, man. For yeah. sure. And, 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 and I mean, a lot of people using your joints now. It, it, it's pretty cool, man. Like, I've. I will say, man, God is blessing, man. I've I've come a long way, so yeah, man. It's uh, it's it's it's, it's a special feeling. I will admit, man. But to know that you guys have been supporting me for like since day one, essentially, or almost day one, I guess, is yeah. it's really cool. So that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. You. That's a fact, oh, man. Yeah, good to have you on, man. Good Appreciate to have it, man. You on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what's so, yeah? So what's going on, on fellas? <laughs> Yo, we got a, we got a snowstorm. Snowstorm coming this week. First, snowstorm. nah. Yo, it's cold in Cali, man. Shut up. It's not cold. cold. 70, 70 degrees. What do you mean? That's not cold? Uh, no. <laughs> I would be outside in shorts and, and a What's tank cold? top right now. Ryan, What's where cold? you at? I'm in North Carolina, man. East Coast. North oh, Carolina. okay. Oh, North Carolina. It's a little cold over there. What, 40? Um, t- Today was like 60. It was rainy, though. It was like rainy and kind of cool, though. So, But no, if cold here is like, yeah, like, you know, 50, 40. So that's that's it's, cold for us. Yeah. It's 55 in Cali right now, son. What do you mean? That's I still be in a tank top. I don't know about 55. Come on, get out of here. Nah, nah. I, I'll be in a short shorts. 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 You, know, you know what I noticed? Like, ever since I moved out to Bronx, right? I go to the store with a hoodie and shorts. I'm that right. dude. Wow. I did that today. Wow. Yeah, I become wow. that dude that I used to be like, look at this guy. I'm that, that guy. That confuses now. me. <laughs> hoodie shorts and Tim's hoodie <laughs> shorts, no flip flops. So flip flops. Some flip flops. Cro- he goes socks. in his Crocs, bro. He goes yeah. in his camo Crocs. Exactly. Crocs, right. no, no, no lotion. I go right into the Walmart because it's <laughs> no quick. <lotion. laughs> <laughs> oh, ashy. <laughs> you know what was the thing when you ain't have a car and you and you in New York City, you take right. public transportation everywhere. Now you got your car, you jump in. You go to Walmart real quick. There's no Target. opportunity to be cold, right? Yeah. Now you even do pickup. You go, you come out, you come back, and you're good. There's no cold <laughs> like that. 
You'll get wow. COVID in your feet, yo. <laughs> <laughs> he said in his feet. Oh man. <laughs> Cut around with his toes that's a new, like that. <laughs> that's a new uh, that's a new form of catching COVID now. <laughs> Do your same nah, man. Vaccine is out. We good. Mm. <laughs> you got it, switch? Are we you good? first? Nah, switch got it already. Me. Yeah. Yeah, he was switch, on the line. No, nope. he was switch, camping. Switch got a promo code. That I'm switch pro got a promo code. Vaccine, he got link in bio. He's an affiliate. <laughs> oh my goodness, they <laughs> twist my words. What the scripture says? B G. What say? Switch. A lawless. They twist the words. <laughs> That's what y'all be it, doing to my words, man. He said he got a promo code. <laughs> got the B G twenty five for the vaccine. Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, I seen and a you meme. Get, and I you seen get a meme. Microsoft Enterprise along with that. Wow. <laughs> Yo, I seen a meme today of uh, what's that dude from um, Men in Black? Mm-hmm. Will Smith. Yeah, he's Will like, Smith. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Uh, oh, that dude, the Roach. Yeah, guy. yeah, the Roach yeah. guy. That's what they were saying that the vaccine is causing people to do right now. Oh, oh the balls positive. Yeah, I seen that. Three out of four people, right? That's, that's um, that's well, wild. That was in here though, right? Where was that? UK. U- UK, yeah. 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 Is that the same joint we getting? You said three out of four people? It's f- yeah. it's from Pfizer. Oh no. Well, it's yeah. alert it's an allergic reaction. So the, so yeah, I God. guess uh what allergies yeah. they got. I don't know. <laughs> no, but they were saying on the news. <laughs> I don't know. Saying, I don't know what kind of allergies they got. Yo, they were saying on the news. That. Yeah, the do the people that carry around EpiPen or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I saw like, that. Is that serious? Like, don't wow. even take it. If they telling them not to take it, I ain't taking it. Well, Trump said he's not taking it. <laughs> Shut up. He said he's not taking it, bro. And he paid for the joint. After Yo. promoting it? <laughs> he, ordered 100, he ordered a oh, hundred he ordered a hundred million a hundred million doses, right? Yo, Pfizer and, CEO and now he's saying he's not. It. Word? <laughs> nah, yeah. what? he's capping. Nah, you uh, be lying. Said, I'm not lying. He, he was on um on the news. They asked him. He, was like, he said, don't get high. Yo, let's supply, fact huh? check that, man. We got Go ahead. Fact check He was on the news. He said, I, I'm not taking it. Let everybody let the I believe you, man. I believe you, man. I believe you. Oh, okay. I mean, but still, you created it. You could take it. Yeah, they're saying they're saying if you had COVID already, getting back at the line and people who people who you know haven't got it, they should be first in line to get vaccinated, especially if you like at risk. I'm good, man. Wait, he's not taking it because he he wants everyone else to take it before he does. Do we just that's, that? you know, wonder that's why? Cold. Right, he waiting. It's yeah, he he want to see it. You you first. Yeah, I want to see what happens. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool, bro. I can't do it. Stupid. He waiting for them. He oh, waiting he for doesn't want to cut turn into gremlins. Okay, so he doesn't want <laughs> the gremlins. <laughs> he already pour water on them. That's what he waiting for. But yo, they've been targeting like minorities because I guess COVID is. Well, Gates said from the beginning, his wife from the beginning, Melinda, is that her name? She said that yeah. black people should take it first. I don't know wow. about that, man. You, you say something that. like that, you kind of suspect. Yeah, that's suspect. I'm cool. Don't don't <laughs> tell Fauci. me that. Don't tell me that. No. Right. <laughs> right. And then, yo, and then and Fauci, then, Fauci yeah. come in talking about, well, somebody black made it though. Right. Like that's gonna change my opinion. No, nah, fam. I'm not with that. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, he was saying that, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm cool. It's cool. And they had, they had a here in New York. They had a a black nurse who got it. I don't know if she was the oh. first one, but they showcased her. You know, and getting then she it. clapping. Yeah. Oh. I, oh, she was like they token, like oh yeah, like that's yeah. crazy, man. I don't I mean, know, man. I want yeah. a camera on her at all times, <laughs> right? I don't know right. what's gonna happen. Yeah. It's what about uh, these days. false positives? HIV false positives. That's not that from this place, place, too, right? That was That's Australia, though. Australia, yeah, Australia, yeah, yeah. That's that was their own. That was like they they was cooking up something themselves. So oh, so it has nothing to do with Pfizer or Moderna. Nah, that had nothing to do with Pfizer. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Did you? They put you guys, seasoning. you guys saw that that little clip of the the swine when the swine flu came out and they did those vaccines. Which nah, one, what happened? <clears throat> I, I had mentioned it last on the last show, I think, or part. Um, they had which, uh, one? which show? Oh, I don't remember, man. We have so many. Um, <laughs> it was basically so what you get <laughs> saying. So yeah, that's a light flex, cool. right? That's a light flex, right? I'm like, okay, I see y'all right here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, but when, when when the the swine flu, they would they were they were doing um the vaccines. They started it, 
and people are having uh, neurological issues. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Down the line. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what causes the balls posse, isn't it? Mm, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Can't All right. You can yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't. I can't speak on that, unfortunately. So, yeah. Um, All right. I retract yeah. my statement. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so i guess uh, wild, vaccines are no for for all of us huh yeah that's, that's what it sounds yeah. like man mm-hmm. i'm not even an anti-vaxxer either but i'm just you know what i mean you like it usually takes like eight to ten years for for something to get approved and and this joint this joint is like approved in eight to ten months Right. Matter of less, fact, less than that. <laughs> ne- yeah, less. Yeah, less, less than, than that, that because because Trump was already ordered ordering them back in March. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Did you guys see that? I mean, I said that in our group chat. Um, there was somebody on Reddit who actually asked that question. It's like, how is it possible, or why is it that some you know diseases, cancer, whatever, there's no treatment, but all of a sudden for COVID, there was a treatment pretty right, fast right. and then somebody had replied it's all about the money you know the government dumped a bunch of money to get it done sure did. versus you know other you know sicknesses or diseases so mm, well. yeah, but money they, runs everything man they've been putting money in the cancer research some research for years yo they have yeah and but how much money they get back out of that that's a good question a that's a good question yeah that's a good question mm-hmm. yeah I mean, if I was going to make a lot of money from this deal, like from this whole, like, you know, COVID vaccine deal, they're going to make a lot of money, like, easily. If it's not, you know, 10, 20 billion more, maybe, they're going to make a lot of money from this. So I don't know. So you think I should buy the stock? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> what's, the, what's the price? What's the price of Pfizer right now? Uh, they actually dropped today, which is, uh, this market is weird. Um, it's, yeah. I think it's like 36, oh, $36. Oh, palsy. But yo, with the with the whole cancer thing, I mean, it's a little different because this is Ooh. like a contagious uh virus, right? And so like with cancer, like everybody has like some kind of cancer cells in them. And it what happens is it supposedly Your body. Yeah. gets triggered and then though, mm-hmm. you know, whatever foods or stress or whatever it is that triggers those cancer cells, it you know, obviously goes through your body and all, all that other stuff. So I don't know. That'd be interesting if, you know, because like you said, and like they have all that research d- that they're doing for it. You know what I mean? But is yeah. there a possible vaccine for it or is it a different type of sickness for, you know? Well, it's not contagious. So cancer ain't contagious. You know what I mean? According to what the what the government and research is saying about COVID is that any, you know, anybody can catch it. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's the difference there. Um, and the the way the media has sensationalized this, right? Because the survival rate is still ninety nine percent, you know, even if you catch it. Um, but they're sensationalizing the you know the deaths, you know, and I think that that was an opportunity for the government to do everything that is done in both Democratic and Republican um, cities and states, because mm. everybody got a bag, you know. Uh, Sela was just talking in the chat. It was like, you know, all the money. He did the math and he said, "Let's something like uh, everybody got a twelve hundred dollar check, and that comes out to like three dollars and some change per day for the year for everybody to shut down." Like we sold ourselves out for three dollars and some change, fam. Wow, wow. that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> well, yeah. some people still working. <laughs> sure. sure, I'm still working. So yeah, I'm still working. So right, you know, right. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Speaking of the government, Mr. Joe Biden is officially the president of the United States. Okay. Yo, so the 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 Electoral College met today. Yes, they did. And they were like, that's our dude. That's our man. That's the man. But that's not what the prophets say was going to happen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Look at Ryan. He's Shut like, oh, what did oh, I sign no. up for? <laughs> no, I'm with it. I'm with the smoke. So I got I'm smoke just ready. saying, like, th- that's not what the prophets were saying, though. Saying, yeah, though. you're right. All of them. Well, but, but, well, majority but, but, of them. Right, but your right. man still got some pending court cases, right? Like, he he does. He lost, he lost uh, Arizona PA. and Texas, right? Or something like that? 
the cases but they were they, rejecting. They've been rejecting yeah, the Supreme Court. Yeah, but he got a few. He got a few those. pending, and from what I understand, he still has the option to use uh, martial law in a sense, oh, right? Nice. Or like like a, a military, right? Yeah, he does. So it's not over. The the prophets might be right. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. So so hold on to your stones. Maybe in the fourth quarter. <laughs> in the third that's quarter. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Quarter. Hold on to your stones. Don't put them down. Just hold on to them. Don't don't hold toss them. Yeah, yeah. I got them. Yeah. Okay, I got to sit right here. They sit right here. I'm what, I got them. I got them. <laughs> hold on to them. Don't throw them yet. I got Let's you. Let's see what so, happens. Ryan, you, you, you've heard these prophecies too? I have, man. And I'm just kind of like... It, it, it makes you question a lot of things. I'll say that. It makes you question these people's right. agendas and who or what they're really hearing from. And it's kind of mm-hmm. like, all right, okay. I mean, I, I, right. I see what you're trying to do. I see why you're saying, I mean, you want your, you're hoping that you know, this ideology and your beliefs kind of align in this sense. You just, you're just saying things in order to hopefully project something to happen. But I mean, no, right. man, it's yeah. I don't know. Right. But, I so, hear yeah. that. Yeah. That's Very wild, wild, man. It is what it is. John McCarthy uh, had a he had a list of uh, COVID effects too, right? Oh, what was it? Oh, he he caught COVID. Nah, he just know the list. He was he talking just, about. Just... I get, I guess he was talking about the effects as far as like in people's lives, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought, See I thought, what... I, yeah, I thought you meant he caught All COVID because right. in that in that video he was kind of coughing. He kind of had like a dry cough. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. Y'all didn't hear well, that? Know he that, that did. That's the church you visit. He, he, he did. He, he, his did. Church. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> that's what you meant. That's he kept, what he meant. <laughs> yeah, so, so I was like, wait, was that really COVID? Because I was like, yo, this is weird that he's talking about this and then he's coughing in between his sermon. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh man. So when air, you said that, when you said that, I was like, oh wait, he got COVID? Like, dang, that dude's up there in age too, man. Yeah, let's let, let's pray for him though, just in case. Let's pray. For real. <laughs> let's pray for, for, real. Let's pray for him just in nah, case. That's for real. that's real. For real, for real. we yeah. already we already lost the uh, one one. Well, we lost we lost Robbie. RC Sproul. Yeah, that was a couple yeah. years ago, uh, and we lost Ravi too. So that's true. Yeah. Our goals, yeah, so man. You, what yeah. what did you what you what you think of that uh that 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 video switch? I don't I think nothing because I ain't really watch it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I just know that I heard something about like Japan yeah. and suicide and yeah, the suicides are up. That that they have more suicide deaths than they did COVID deaths, which is crazy. Wow! Wow! Yeah, yeah I heard. Yeah, I because of the shutdown that. and everything. Mm-hmm. Did you you watch the video? Ant? No, nah, I ain't see the video, but I heard that nobody, nobody saw that. the video. I saw a little bit of it, like the first okay. half. So yeah, so okay. I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it's like 30 minutes long. Yeah, right. It's long. Video, what'd you yeah. What'd you think of it? Um, yeah. I mean, I think it was interesting because again, he brought up the whole Japan um mm-hmm. and the suicide thing, and he also mentioned how COVID deaths didn't. It was something along the lines of they didn't necessarily, you know, increase the overall like death rate of right. Americans yeah. or something like that. And I was like, I thought that was interesting. I don't know. Again, I don't know what study he was pulling from, so I can't go and fact check it. But yeah. I thought some of these points he was mentioning, especially that one, uh, he mentioned a point about also uh, like masks not really working. And there's some other things he mentioned in the video. So I was like, hmm, these are some interesting. Oh, no. Also, we Ryan. <laughs> Come yeah. back. You know, um, the thing about the mask, like we, we've been knowing that, right? <laughs> like people have been talking about that for yeah. a minute. Like, the, the the specialists were talking like saying that if you're not wearing an N95 like it don't it don't really work and which I don't understand now why people are saying it. like you have to wear a mask everybody has to wear a mask because if I wear one and you don't wear one it doesn't work oh, but, vice versa. right but the you know the science doesn't prove that because you just wearing you know what I'm saying like a piece of cloth on you wearing a bandana on your face you know yeah right and then uh, I mean that's that was the first thing I was like, wait, this uh, <laughs> the ma- the mass end doesn't make sense. Looks like Ryan dropped off. Dang. Just when it was getting good. This is how it is. We live, ladies and gentlemen. We live. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you have it. You said he's uh, hopping back on. Yo, oh, speaking of subscribe, hold on, hold on. Speaking of subscribe, man, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to give a shout out to everybody who comments on the videos, man. Everybody, yes. shout out to Thank Brie Cage. And everybody who's on the notification yeah. gang, because I see people commenting first, you know, saying, "Let's go!" 
And I love that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that, the last that is, shall that be it. first, and the first shall be last. You heard? Yo, that that is so dope. So <laughs> thank, that, thank everybody who um, who subscribes and 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 who's who's a part of notification gang, man. I really appreciate y'all. We got some big things coming next year. Really big right. things. We we're in conversations. We can't talk about it right now, but we we got some big things in store. Wow, I can't believe we just, we're those people now. Jeez. <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, we've become. When those, you're watching, a, yeah, you watch, about it. You watch Cliff a YouTube video. Yeah, I got stuff coming on. You know, we'll, we'll talk about it soon, but I can't tell you right now. But a lot of people background. say that, and they don't really got nothing going on. Yeah, I mean, I guess they just have well, an keep, idea. Yo, we'll, we'll then, keep watching. All right, Ryan's back. Keep watching. Oh, keep watching, because yeah. we got some stuff in store. Yeah, another thing with the YouTube subscription specifically, you have uh, about we have about sixty three percent that are not subscribed. So. That is if wild watching, to me. If you watch our videos and you enjoy it, hit that subscribe button for us. It really helps. What's up, Ryan? You That's back? because they don't like it. <laughs> Sorry about subscribe. that, man. Sorry about Chapo. That. You heard? Bruh. They don't subscribe because they don't like it. They're like, nah. Who? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> be quiet. Nah, I think right. it's because of the suggested, because the suggested videos. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes yeah, yeah. people, they see the thumbnail and they click on it. Do you do you see that with with your videos, Ryan? Like you have more people who are watching who aren't subs. Oh, for sure, for sure. You you know I'll uh, upload videos, upload music, and you know you have your first subscribers who are you know they're coming through, they're, they're showing love, and then you you see later like whoa, like a lot of your other guys are tuning to the music. You you pretty, I'm sure you like it, so go ahead and click subscribe button, man. Click and like, like, subscribe, and comment, all that good right, stuff. So real, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Now yeah, I saw yeah. I saw your subscribers. You 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 got a got a, a a pretty <laughs> hefty amount of subscribers has that been from the years uh just yeah just from the years man i mean most people don't know i've been on youtube i've been uploading to youtube for over 10 years now so i've wow. been in it i've been in the game wow. for at least youtube game for a bit i mean i've had moments where i wasn't uploading consistently but yeah man just from grinding man working with different people working with different creators who you know who are enjoy the music and they're referring them back to my channel, and yeah, man. So I've been I've been in the game for 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 a minute. Yeah, yeah, man. That's what's up, man. Now, did you, did you see did you see like a surge with anybody any content creators that may have featured your music? Have you like seen a trend or a surge with certain people? For for, for sure. And so um, who? Um. So for me, uh, one of the main guys who I shout out often shouts to my guy Adonde Thorn. His name is Susie on YouTube. Uh, he's, Susie, uh, Susie, yeah, S W O O Z I E. Yeah, 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 man. yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, dude. So, yeah, I've worked with Susie. We've known each other for for a few years now. Well, more than a few yeah. years, but uh, yeah, man, he's used myself in his, you know, in his videos, uh, yeah. dating back to probably you know six, seven years ago, maybe. Wow. And uh, okay. yeah, so yeah, he's been he's been helping me out, man. Uh, but yeah, so Susie's another uh, one person. Um, he has an associate named Michelle Fawn. She's into like the whole like I know makeup. Michelle Fawn too. Yeah. yeah, she's into the whole makeup scene and, and stuff like it's that. Big time. Um, yeah. Wow. Man, again, it's gotta be glory, man. But yeah, you know, people like people like them that are really helping me out. So um, so those are the main ones. I'm sure there are others who I can name too. Uh, but yeah, those are the those are the main ones. So yeah, shout out to them. Dope. Dope. That's what's um, up, man. Yeah. So what what got you uh what got you making beats? Like, what got you motivated? Or, you know, I was like, yo, I want this is what I want to do. <clears throat> uh, long, long story short, I'm going to try to keep this as brief as possible. Um, <laughs> we got time. Okay. Okay. Bet. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, well, so you, I, you also you also got a Q&A uh, playlist that people should watch. Right. Okay. Oh, for sure. Yes, I do. I do. I do. I'll, I'll, I'll get set in a moment uh, for sure. Right. But yeah, man, just, you know, high school, you know, you know, 10th, 11th grade, you know, there had my, my peers. At the time, being a musician was kind of cool or rapping or right. whatever. And I was like, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot and I'll see what I can do. And, uh, of course, you know, your boy, you know, FL Studio, Fruity Loops, right. if you don't know, uh, right. down, downloaded the Cracked Edition. You know, I pay for everything now. Let's be clear. Right. At the time, right. I, was getting, right. I was getting that Cracked Edition. Uh, That's but, not Christian. Yeah, it, it, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not, not at all. And I, I've, I've repeated, I promise you. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Lincoln> <laughs> <by it. laughs> yeah, man. So. So yeah, so I, I just kind of st stuck with it. I mean, I enjoyed making mm. beats, and um, again, hip hop wasn't a huge part of my life uh, growing up. But just over time, uh, it, it right. became a huge part of my life. And what kind of beats were you making back then? Uh, a lot of, I guess, old school hip hop. Like, I guess like yeah. '90s type hip hop. I mean, that's all I gotcha. really knew. Um, yeah, sampling was all I really knew. So that's kind of my, and it's still my go-to now. To be honest with right. you, but uh, that was kind of the stuff I was making back then. I just kind of evolved going forward. 
And the big thing that kind of, you know, really put me into the game was uh, I mentioned Susie earlier. Yeah. Um, before like Twitch and everything, you guys know there was Ustream and he was yeah. on Ustream, you know, talking this mess, whatever, talking about a video game. Uh, the video game was Street Fighter 4. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm heavy into gaming or whatever. Yeah. And at the time, I was like a top ranked player in, a, in like in North America in that game. But he didn't know that, though. Wow. Like, I was wow. like I was I was a beast in that game. Yeah. So uh, you know, he challenged me. We played off stream or whatever. And of course, you spanked him. Wait, yep. wait, 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 wait. How did you got this? Is you knew him already, and I, I was like gaming. I didn't know him. So here's what happened. So he he hops on Ustream and um he's you know talking talking mess. Let's talk a jump to all his you no know, followers. <laughs> and I hop in, I'm like, yo, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Like, let's let's go. Oh, <laughs> so so we end up hitting each other up later. Like we set a time and, and date to play. And like I said, I I spank him a quick five or whatever, three oh five or whatever wow. it was in the game. So Shut we're talking, up. right? Yeah, man, no, no, no competition. I promise you. But um, you know, <laughs> so he was talking big on on UStream. Yeah, you guys can't see me. I'm the man. It's and kind, yeah, it's on there was like, nah, bro, he, he, he really that nine. good, man. Yeah, man, that's what it kind of came down to. And and mind you, he was a professional gamer, but Street Fighter Four just wasn't his game. It was it was mainly my game. He played mm. um another he played another game or two that was here professionally, but you know. Right. You know, in, in this case, it didn't matter because it was Street Fighter 4 and I kind of did what I had to do. But um, so, yeah, so we're talking afterwards and I'm just telling you, I'm a fan of the work, fan of the videos you're putting out. Cool. You know, I make music on the side. You know, if you want to you know, check it out, you know, you know, you check it out. So I send I send him my music. He's down with it. And that was probably my freshman year in college. And probably that summer, one thing I did every day was go on YouTube, went on YouTube every day like almost religi- religiously <laughs> it seemed like um right and i would hop on and one day he had a video and the video was called virgin on campus you can look it up right now um the first thing you're hearing that that video is my music and at that point i was kind of like wow if this top creator thinks like this music is pretty good then maybe i'm doing something right and at that point i just kind of switched focus and music you know became a huge part of you know what i do now so so yeah, wow. that's kind of how I got into it. Yeah. Wow, that's 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 really dope. Now you mentioned in your Q and A video, uh, mm-hmm. you, you had mentioned Apollo Brown and his tape. Um, yeah. Who were some of your early influences, though? Like when, when you were in high school with the Fruity Loops and all that. Like who who were some of the people that influenced? Oh you man, in, Apollo in Brown. Apollo Brown for sure. Um, I was mainly into a lot, a lot of North Carolina sound. So, but but the, even though I know Apollo Brown's Detroit, but um, mm-hmm. of course, you know Ninth Wonder. I knew a bit Ninth of Ninth Wonder, Wonder right. as well. Um, just a lot of the older, you know, older guys. So even though he's this guy, also may not be uh, North Carolina, but Pete Rock. Just a lot of like right. just that, that whole like boom bap type sound. So right. anybody who was doing that, I was just following them and following their sound because that's all I really knew. I didn't know how to play keys. I, you know, I didn't have a MIDI controller. Literally all of my beats I was making on some cheap, you know, earbuds and the keys on my laptop. So that's all I really knew. So right. that sound was really what's kind of carrying me through. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I, I did I did kind of get that low end theory tribe type of vibe to your early beats. When, when mm-hmm. I first came across it, I was like, OK, this is this is dope. This is fine because I could I, I, I used to just throw it on and work because I'm an editor. Okay. And so I would just throw it on while I'm editing and just listen, listen, you know, just vibe out to the music, you know, because I'm I'm big into like into lo-fi in the office. Like okay. that's that's all I really I don't really listen mm-hmm. to anything because I, I need to focus. I got ADD if I if I if I throw on some like old school hip hop, you know, I'll have a concert in my office. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel you. No, I mean, for sure. But that's kind of what that was the sound. That's again, that's all I really knew. Just a sort of chill type vibe, mm-hmm. I guess. And again, as I, you know progressed i began experimenting and kind of incorporating other styles and just incorporating other sounds into my production but yeah that's kind of what started it all and i'm grateful for that particular sound and again a lot of people still love that sound to this day i feel like that sound is kind of coming back especially in the instrumental community mm-hmm. uh, again that's why you have all these playlists of like oh here's some music to chill to music to study yeah. to that sort right. of sound yeah. so Lo-fi music yeah lo-fi i mean it's it's all coming back so it's, it's here honestly so um yeah, I, I think I, I've been blessed to be able to be part of that sound and have it, you know, start my career. And even now, like I still can kind of tap back into it uh, just to make some dope music, man. And, I, and I'm glad that people appreciate it. So it's really cool. Yeah. What's interesting um, when I heard the lyrics, I mean, not the lyrics, the beats mm-hmm. um, was that I felt like 
it didn't need any lyrics. Like sometimes you hear a beat and it's like, wow. Oh, you know, you need the artist to kind of get on it and kind of enhance that that beat. But I heard some of your stuff and I'm like, like it's just like 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 what Jimmy said. It's a cool mellow. You can just vibe out. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't yeah. even need the lyrics. <laughs> no, I mean, and I appreciate it, man. Um, I I do my best to try to fill the the fill the space in your ears. I guess you know, but you no know, between the technique and just the actual sounds that I use. But um, of course, I do have beats that are more minimal or that you know that has the space for artists to kind of hop on and do their thing. But yeah, my goal is to when I'm when I put a, out an instrumental. I want you to be able to kind of hop in your car or put your headphones in, you know, lock into whatever you're doing, listen, right. and you don't have to worry about anything else. So, um, right. you know, by the time that the artist comes and hops on it, you know, they approach me, you know, we do whatever, you know, that's cool too. But um, I've always prided myself in making music that can stand on its own. And I'm, I'm glad that so far it's been able to do that. So, yeah. So yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, it de- you're definitely doing it the right way. Cause that's the impression I got. I was like, you don't need you don't need an artist over this. <laughs> it man. sounds good the way it is. <laughs> and I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Now, have you had uh artists like that you've worked with, like within CHH or Secular Realm? Like what, what um, kind of collaborations have you had? Oh no. No. <laughs> oh man. Another cliffhanger. Ryan. Yeah. So for those listening, um, Ryan's video just just pause so we're hoping that he comes back but um saving ryan yeah man this is live oh, he's, he's, he's still ryan. on he's still on oh is he he probably yeah he's just he's, he's just frozen he did warn yeah. us though to be fair he did warn us yeah he did that, that his his laptop was was kind of kind of oh, switch you want to throw jada kiss on his beats Huh? Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Dude, yeah. about Jada for the yeah. listen, yo, for the listeners. Uh, so these dudes have been going at it before we started. <laughs> we wasn't even going at it. We weren't going at yeah. it. Jared decided to say In the chat room. where did that came from? Where did that come from anyway? Why Jared singling out um wait, what was it? Oh no, because someone said someone said that Jada Kiss uh I didn't know what you guys were talking about when you guys were talking about it here. So I was like, what's Jada Kiss? You because you came out of nowhere and was like, what about Jada Kiss? What'd you say? He's oh, like, Brinson. But they can't Brinson, Brinson wrote his mouthpiece CH oh, Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss, yeah, yeah. Basically yeah. saying, like, you know, mouthpiece is, you know, they're trying to say the mouthpiece is underrated. Um, which many, many people feel that way. Um, how many projects does mouthpiece have? So then I'm not sure. But I'm sh- um Jared said Jada's overrated, mouth is underrated, big differences. And then Ant put Jada overrated. Whoa, I don't hear this often. And then I was like, correct. <laughs> What'd you say? You said yeah, look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> All right, Ryan's back. He's overrated. He is. Let, let, let's ask Ryan what he thinks. All right, hold hold on. <laughs> let's let's ask Ryan. Let's right. put a okay. disclaimer. Okay, okay, here we go. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm truly sorry about that. Now nah, we just we just got Jesus. into the whole. Uh, we kind of went into a tangent about Jada Kiss being. Well, Ant thinks that. What you think he's underrated, Ant? <laughs> think he's. I, 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 I thought he was frozen. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know. I. I don't think he's. Underrated, but I don't think he's overrated. I think he's definitely overrated. So he's rated. I think. <laughs> I think. I think. Yeah, I'm bugging. You I know, think. You know what I just I don't, think, I don't think. I don't think mouthpiece is Jada Kiss. I think he's more of a J Electronica. Because he only got one album. Electronica comes out one every ten years. Does he have mixed That's what I'm saying. Uh, mouthpiece. What, but I'm what did he? At, why did he say he that? Got one album. He got two singles. From what I'm looking at here, and he's on one compilation. That's not a lot of. That's not a lot of. Um, it's not work. a lot of work. I could be wrong, but just off of Discogs right here is saying he got one album. Where did you look on Spotify? Discogs. Oh. Dot com. Yeah. All right. Look, man, and, and let's put a disclaimer for the holy rollers out there. All right. <laughs> so, we're gonna talk about secular rap right now. Okay. Okay. So, Bet, bet, bet. Okay. No, no, because people be in our comments like, yeah, yeah, like, oh, this has nothing to do with the kingdom. Like, cool. Just log gotcha. off right now. 
Just okay. you know sure you hit the subscribe button before you go. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> thumbs up before you leave. So my thing with Jada is this: is like he got the same flow, bro. He don't. He's not versatile. Uh, he's you nice. Want, yes. You, you, you want him nice. to pull out? You wanted him, but that's what he's known for. What you want him to do? Start that is what he's known like for. Bone thugs and harmony. My thing is he's limited. <laughs> he's not like all this top five. Dead what do you mean limited? No. Yo. What? <laughs> I mean, if you're talking, if you're talking about bars, he's got to be in the top ten for sure. Bars, yes. His, his bars are ridiculous. Yeah, he has yeah. to be up there oh, yeah, for overall sure. Overall artist, no, he's he's he's. But uh, all right, so Ant, what would be his? What would what would be his top five songs? Top five? Yeah. All right, three. He can't um, even name them. Look, yes, I could. The flow <laughs> joint from the first album. What are you talking about? Matter of fact, the freestyle, the um, his his verse off of "Can I Live," the um, the flow right. joint from the first album. Then he got the 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 freestyle with Big, um, the one from the Clue tapes. I can't even remember. Yo, yo, Jimmy, mm, yeah. you're wrong yeah. about mouthpiece, man. Well, he got. Yeah, how I'm, many I'm telling you, look, I'm on Discog.com. That's why I said that. If he got more than that, cool. And maybe he's not he's not Jay Electronica then. He's who is nah, it? it says here he got something in 2010, 2011, 2012, 2012, 2013, 17. What are you looking at? And then, 18. So then he can't be the Jada of nah. CHH because people know when Jada drop an album. Ooh. Wow. True. Ooh. That's true. Oh man. <laughs> So that's one and two. That's what you bugging. You know what I noticed out. though, Jimmy? You know what I noticed? What's what that? You, you see how anybody you don't know under <laughs> no, he's mad. anybody under maybe 35. I'm 35. What are you talking exactly. about? Exactly. 35 so, and under. All these young, you young boys. Young boys. Is, <laughs> a legend in you is uh, uh um Bobby Schmurda. Ah. Yeah. Yo, your your man, your man said Jill Santana is the goat. Yeah, wow. that's what he said. <laughs> this is wow. Man. See, he looking for the Cameron Maze He's, verses. Yeah. <laughs> he put he put Lloyd Banks in his top five. He got the whole Lloyd TS. Banks. Wow, Cuban Link in his top five. <laughs> nah, that's what I'm saying. Those are the dudes that that I don't. Those are the dudes that Jada's with. Who? Those dudes, that's the club. You put Jay him in the same category. The, the street. He's rap. not with the Jay Z's or the Nas's or the nah, He's not. But who he's put him not up with them? them? Huh? My thing is, all right, he's a hood rapper. I don't put him up there with Jay and Nas. Exactly. I don't put him up there with them. So in my mind, you know, he's one of the. But he top. could get in a cipher with him, though. He can get right. in a cipher with him. Yeah. He could. And he's he's a hood rapper, but, right? But I know, I already know uh, it's predictable. I already know how Jay is going to come with it. Yeah, it's but who could be beat a him? Certain though? flow, he got the same voice. He's not gonna change it. It's gonna be the same flow and a couple punchlines, and then he's out. But let me ask you, who's gonna beat that? So if you put him on a song, oh, this dude. So if you put him, <laughs> on, <laughs> if you put Jada on a song, let's say with Griselda, who's gonna stand out the most? Mm, depends, Jada, Jada, right. So but that's because of Jada's voice. But he like put him on a song with Kendrick, Nas, Drake, J. Cole. He got and songs with Nas. And see, he stood out and, on. See, and see what Jada do. He got songs with Nas that he stood out through. The Johnny Blaze joint he killed with yeah, Nas, Fat and Joe and all. Like, he's, yeah, he's, pun. Pun was on there. He killed it. Uh, switches, yeah, no, switches. I'm not going to say he's not nice. He's nah, nice. Nah, you say he's overrated and he stood on his own with Nas he on the He is joint. overrated because I get this whole thing that he's top five dead or lot. Like, no, dude. He calls himself that. What are you talking about? No, there's other dudes that be like, yeah, he's the, he's the, good. like, no. I'm from New York. No. <laughs> Fab, <laughs> he said, Fab. I'm from New York. Like, you're not from New York. <laughs> <laughs> Why he questioning you in New York? I got card. Fab. I got Fab. Well, that's another thing. He man. beat Fab though. Fab. That, you, 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 you saying you say Jada's better than Fab? Hold up, hold up. That's what you are saying? Mm. He said that. He's about to say that, but he beat him in the verses though. He murdered my, him. My my thing. Verse. I don't know. He I don't murdered know. You saying? Verses. That's what you saying though. I don't know because. So you track your statement, yo, Ryan. This dude said. This dude said that that Fabulous is better than Jada Kiss. 
Fab is nice. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, nice. oh, look, Fab is nice for sure. I don't know, man. And I, I will admit, I'm probably the young, the youngest of this group. So right, right. I don't. But from yeah, what I've he's heard, part of that 35. And yeah, under, so. I, I'm part of 35. I'm I'm 29, so I'm I'm young. I'm young. Yeah. Right. From what I've heard, though. Man, Jada might have it, man. I don't know. Jada might. Right, Jada got it, but he's not like. <laughs> but but Fab is nice. Though. Let's not take nothing away from Fab. Fab, Fab, Fab is nice. Fab yes, is nice. Sure, he's sure. nice. But if, I, if I'm choosing, I'll probably give it to Jada, man. I got to give well, it to I Jada. feel like Fab is more versatile. Listen, if, if I drop a single, if I drop a single tomorrow. Okay. Ryan Little's on the beat. And I got to choose between, between Fabulous and Jada. Fab. And I'm trying. I'm trying to get the t- uh, a top twenty hit. I'm gonna pick Fab. Yeah. Now, if yeah. I'm trying to do a hood classic, that's, I'm trying to rock true. a mixtape. Okay. I'm gonna okay. get Jada. I can, Jada I can, I got no that. classic albums. Nah, he got joints. <laughs> he got joints. Wait, you think Fab got a classic album? Fab don't got uh, no classic albums. His, if Jada don't got one, Fab may not have one. His oh, first yeah. album was 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 his. Best album. That's not that's a one with Holla Back. That's not best yeah. album is not a classic yeah. album, son. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. You don't got no classic albums. Joe Button is really? a lyrical beast. He's all his albums are trash. <laughs> he said, he said he was do a, <laughs> yo, he said he was gonna do a top no, three mood music. He was gonna do a like, top three against uh, mixtapes. Uh, yeah. uh, what's his true, name? Okay, that's fair, 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 that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Hey, we got into this conversation because we were talking about Ryan and then he got cut off. I got cut off. My we bad, were talking guys. about his collaborations <laughs> with other artists, and then this dude want to bring up Jada. Man, but that's Jada that's, <laughs> hey, that's cool. That's cool. How I, Jada's I, gonna mess up Ryan's beats, man? Oh no! Don't say <laughs> that. Don't say that. Don't say. Don't say that. No, 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 no. I'm just trolling. Oh man! Oh man! I never um, said that. <laughs> I was just saying, because Switch considers him overrated. Um, I don't think he's overrated. I don't think he is. I mean, again, you guys have more experience in the game than I do, and you know his catalog probably a little more than I do. So you guys have can speak on a little more. But from what I've heard, I don't think he's overrated. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think so. But, but every time you when you ask Switch a question, he like, mm, you, oh, would you if you jaded with all them other dudes? He gonna because kill I'm not. I'm 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 comparing him. I guess my problem is I have a comparing him to Nas and Jay. I don't. Yeah, do I have that. a different standard for Jada. I, well, I don't know why. And when we start talking top anything, that's the standard for me. This is not Jada. Jada is like, I think that's what it is. Maybe that's maybe because because Jared autom- automatically brought up Nas and Jay. I'm I don't, I ain't, I'm talking about hood rap. I ain't, I don't even put him up there. He ain't even right. in, in like the elite. You know what I'm saying? Right, but what, right, if you want right. to if you want to talk about that hood rap, then yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna put him. Over Benny, I'm gonna put him over Conway and Lloyd Banks. Yeah, and all yeah, J- Jada, Jada Kiss is like a like a Rutgers Park legend. You yeah, know what I'm saying? He's, right. not, he's not NBA level. He's like Rutgers Park, like and one yeah, mixtape like, type joint. Yeah, exactly. So oh, I'm, even I'm even, even NBA, I think he's he's in the NBA. He's just not. He's he just on the bench. No he's just not. He's just he, not. A, oh, he ain't getting no chips. He like, he like, he like, no, 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 no. Not, not a bench. He so ain't on not, the bench. Oh, no, no. He's not Jordan. Right. He's not Jordan. 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 He's not He's probably like Chris Paul. Nah, like Carmelo. Yeah. Don't disrespect my man, yo. Yo, what are you getting at here today? Yo, back, back back to my man Ryan, man. Okay. Ryan, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, what kind of collaboration? Because <laughs> okay. too much disrespect <laughs> going on in. Nah, it's it's cool, man. I, I'm with it, man. I like this. I, I'm enjoying this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so my collaboration so far, um, there's a, there's a guy here in North Carolina named Pat Junior, really dope individual, dope artist. He's a, he's a rapper. Um, we 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 put out two two songs together. Uh, they have a guy in Atlanta named Keenan Rush, uh, really dope artist as well. He just filed a project. I'm not on this one in particular, but I was on his first album, so that's that's a blessing of itself. Um, I'm working on a few other collaborations, um, you know, just with people here in in the state, because that's kind of where I want to, you know, kind of cultivate. I think North Carolina, we have yeah. a lot of talent, you know, a lot of opportunity here. We've had a few people, you know, kind of hit the bigger stage, but to me, at the end of the day, I just want to make dope stuff. I'm just trying to make dope music, and the guys yeah. who I work with, I think they make dope music on their own, and I think, you know, with me and them put together. I think man, it could be it could be a it could be a hit. It could be just some some dope some dope art made. So so yeah, I'm all, I'm all about North Carolina boys, man. For right now, for sure, yeah. Oh, 
How about in the YouTuber? Have you uh, reached out to Mr. Beast? Uh, um, I don't know I if you're familiar know. with him. I am. I am from Mr. Okay, familiar. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I haven't reached out to him. Not yet. Okay, um, okay. But but yeah, uh, I actually work with the with the licensing company uh, called Thematic and they yeah. have, okay. talk about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. So Thematic, so I work with them and they have, you know, their um, they have their reach and they pull from different content creators. And I work with Thematic in order to, you know, kind of, you know, bridge the gap between myself and those content creators. So I've had a lot of collaborations. I mean, it's too many to name, I guess, to be honest with you, because there's so many people on the site. But, um, you know, I've worked with them. Things have been going great in that department. So uh, blessings there. So, yeah, man, and I'm in the, I guess, the artist game and in the the content game as well. So I'm, I'm just trying to get my music out there. And the next step for me will be, you know, uh, finding ways to get into commercial TV, that area, and yeah, kind of just going good. from there. So I'm kind of just spreading my spreading my wings, just kind of you know, going everywhere I can. So, yeah. Dope. Nice. Dope, dope. Um, yeah, so I saw a video, uh, YouTube video you came out with that says how people can use their music, yeah. your music on their videos and not get, you know, copyrighted or mm -hmm. uh, demonetized. So mm -hmm. maybe you could t talk about that as well. Oh, for sure. Uh, so as you mentioned so, the, the, the site. Yeah, the matter. Yeah. So so a lot of my music I put out on YouTube or well, basically all of it essentially uh, is uh, copyright free. So any creators who want to use it, they're free to use it. All I ask is that you go through the proper channels to do so. Um, and thematic is one of those ways to do it. All you got to do is go into the site. Um, it's hellothematic.com, I believe. Uh, and I actually have a link in, you know, have a link in my description you know, on YouTube and everywhere that'll tell you where to go. You go on the site, sign up. Literally, it's simple as, you know, name, whatever, your YouTube channel, all that stuff. Um, search my name on the site. My music will pop up. Every single song that I have, I have quite a few songs on the site so you'll be you know whatever you want i'm pretty sure it's there Yo. so so yeah so we use we use autumn woes for our intro mm -hmm. and i i didn't see that on on thematic oh okay so yeah okay so i'll i'll go into a second thing as well okay um so this is before this is before thematic where you're talking about autumn woes i'll yeah. go into that as well um but with thematic sign up um you know search my name you can download my music and they'll give you a link. Just post that link in the description of your video and you won't have any problems. None whatsoever. If you, do, nice. if you do have problems, you can go to them. They'll help you solve them. They're really quick about making sure uh, that the creators are happy and that we, the artists, are happy as well. Because we don't want ourselves to be copywritten for any particular reason for, right. you know, something dumb, whatever. And then, you know, we kind of lose the relationship that we may foster between ourselves and creators. So, serious so that. That's, um, no, that's dope. That's a, yeah, that's a cool resource. It is, man. Uh, Michelle, she's you know she's one of the founders of the site, and she always told me years back. She was like, "Hey, man, I'm working on something. Just wait. Wow. I promise you, it'll be worth it." And I kept working. And then when it when the time came, she called me. She was like, "Yo, uh, it's, it's 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 here now. It's here." It's so ready. Yeah, I was ready. So I I, I jumped in. Um, so that's uh, so that's now. Um, but there's also an alternative way to do so, just in case you're not into the whole like working with or going through another site. You can go to me personally. Um, I, I usually have a SoundCloud link uh, with every song. Just go on my SoundCloud page, uh, find the song. And it's usually in the description of what, what you have to do. Now, I will admit this. There are some songs that are exclusive to thematic. I've, I've worked out a deal with them. And you mm -hmm. can only go through thematic. But I have nice a lot of, Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I have a lot of songs, however, that are you can just go straight through me. Um, I have a download link there. And usually it'll just ask for your email and like to follow me on, you know, SoundCloud, Spotify, or, you know, one of those uh, audio streaming sites. Once mm -hmm. you do, you have the link and, you know, all I ask is that, you know, you credit me in, in the description. That's all you got to do. I, I'm pretty easy to work with, man. I'm not trying yeah. to, I'm not trying to be out here making it hard for, man, I, I, hard for people. <laughs> you know, I, I, I love content creators. I love content. Mm -hmm. um, my goal has no, that's always, awesome. Yeah, man. My goal has always been to make sure that people can create as dope as content as possible. And music is a huge part of that. So, so yeah, man, if I can make it easy for people to do so, why not? And I'm kind of working on that path and it's, it's worth for myself. You know, a lot of content creators have been happy because of it and yeah, I like yeah. it. It's just, it's just one of the things I do just to help expand my reach and to help people make good content. So, yeah. Mm, yeah. That's a yeah. good, that's a great, uh, a great answer. Cause um, there's some other websites that some uh, like top creators use mm -hmm. um, that I've been on and you know, the beats are fire, beats are great, but you got to pay for it. You know, right. and for small creators, obviously, that might not be an option. What made you kind of like switch, like 
flip the switch and say, you know what? Everything that I'm making, it takes me hours to sweat and everything. Like, just be like, you know what? I'm going to put it out there in the internet world and use it as long as you credit me. Yeah. You know? What, well, yeah, well, at the beginning, you know, of course, just like most creators, you know, they're a small time. And I'm, I still can th- think of myself a small time, regardless of what everybody else thinks. I still think, I still think <laughs> I'm small time. So, so I'll just find, find, find a way, you know, how can I get my name out there to other people? And everybody loves free, if we're being honest with you. People love right. free stuff. So, you know, so I said, hey, why not use this avenue of giving free music? And, you know, in return, you know, you subscribe to my channel or, or whatever the case may be. So now not only am I giving music to you, in return, I'm generating a following. And that right. following has kind of stuck with me uh, throughout the years. Uh, so that's kind of what I did, even though, of course, it takes, you know, for some beats, it takes hours, some not not so long. But, you know, um, I think I thought it was good to um, use that platform, use that sort of strategy starting to kind of build my name and, you know, do that sort of thing. And, and it's worked. Um, and I still do it on some occasions. You know, I think more more or less now I'm working on just the, the whole artistry and just being a, pr- a production artist, I guess, if you want to consider it that way. Mm-hmm. You know, that sort of a thing. But but yeah, but to start off, yeah, that was definitely a big thing. And uh, I still have some more to give, though. I still have some more to give to the community. Uh, wow. long, they've been supporting me and I want to support them just as much. So. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, what uh what what are you dropping now? Uh you got anything coming oh, up? Uh, oh, YouTube man. videos. Yeah, man. So I have a lot of content coming. So for me, YouTube is gonna be hit with a lot of stuff very soon. But musically, uh I have a beat tape coming out, just a pure tape of just beats on top of beats on top of beats. The tape okay. will be called a closure. Um, I feel like with this year being 2020 and everything that's kind of happened, people right. have been kind of needing closure on a lot of things. Um, it's kind of a double entendre in itself as well, because a lot of these beats, you know, were just kind of in my hard drive or as ideas or whatever. And I hadn't really finished them. They were just kind of sitting there. They were good, but I just ne- had never gone back to them. So I thought it'd be, it would be a good idea to kind of go back, finish them, arrange them, do whatever, and uh, let the people hear what I've, you know, what I've been kind of sitting on, I guess, for, you know, years. I've had, Some of these beats will be from this year. Some will be from two and three years ago. So you just never know what you're going to get, but it's all going to be fire. So I'll be dropping that this month. Um, I'll, I'll probably have it on, on Bandcamp first for those who actually just like want to pay and like want support, but the whole streaming, yeah, but the whole streaming thing, streaming thing to excuse me, I'm saying ting like I'm from (laughs) somewhere else, but the whole, (laughs) whole, (laughs) right, right. (laughs) But I get the whole streaming thing too. It's very important. So it'll drop on streaming platforms at the top of the year, but I have a lot of the supporters who want to support me monetarily, which is cool. And I appreciate that. So it'll be on Bandcamp first and then it'll go to streaming. And then from there, I'll just be dropping, you know, EPs here, singles there. Uh, Mm -hmm. But a lot of my focus will be on that and just creating dope content on YouTube for producers who want to get started or for creators who may need guidance on um, how to kind of navigate through this whole land of YouTube and social media and stuff like that. So, so yeah, I have a lot of things coming. So stick around, stick around. So how about, how about mm-hmm. artists who want to like use your beats for their albums or okay. mixtapes or whatever Cut the check. projects they got? Um, <laughs> I mean, it's that, different, that's, that, that's it's different for them, huh? That's a little it's, different. It, it, it's a little different. Yeah, I will admit, it's a little different. It's a little different. But if you want to reach out to me, please reach out to me. Uh, I'm everywhere, you know, via my email, via socials. I have people reach out to me uh, on a number, you no know, number of occasions. So I'm more than happy to to work and talk and do whatever. But I will admit, um, you know. You might have to cut a little bit of a check. I'm not gonna front. I'm not gonna front. <laughs> send that back. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna front, but I do make it. I, I do try to work with people to make sure that hey, you know, if you're, if I see the talent for sure, and then, um, you know, I don't need all the money in the world. We can work on the price work between something. me and, yeah. and we can work something out. I don't. I try not to work. I try not to be too hard to work with for sure. But if I see there's something there, and I see that we can really, you know, make some some dope content, some dope some dope songs. Yeah, we can do that. So, uh, again, I've worked with people in the past. I want to work with more people in the future. Um, I'm always about helping people start. So if you're an upcoming artist or someone who's just trying to get a start, I'm, I'm for you. If you're someone who's established, I'm for you as well. You know, we can we can do that as, too. But nice. anybody who's trying to get started, for sure, like, I'm all about helping you kind of hopefully get to a, a new step. I mean, I can take you to the top and you, you be the next J or nothing like that. I can't promise you all that. But <laughs> I will say I can make sure, you know, you you have a good good foundation and, you know, we can go from there. So, yeah. So go, maybe you go. can get um, some MAGA rappers on there. Uh, oh, <laughs> man. This is where I stay silent. He said. Uh, uh, 
Oh man, um, yeah, we'll we we'll, we we'll, we'll have to discuss that <laughs> on, on, at, at a separate time. That bag is different. That bag is yeah, different. Yeah, we got so we got to talk. That's that's a little different, man. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about the content too, so you know we and yeah, yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah. price went up. Yeah. So you, right. you are, are, are you are you referring to that uh, March this weekend switch? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, the Jericho uh, March. Tight. No, actually, I was talking about the was it that. Was well, the, the, uh, the song that just Bryson performed at that march. That's why. That's why I thought. Oh, you were talking about. I didn't even know about that. Oh yeah, they had like a Jericho march, man. A bunch of Christians walked in front of. Uh, I guess they were they were praying. Oh, like the walls of Jericho. Yeah, bro. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. They were, for in front, front of the wilds. I don't wherever wherever uh, Bryson was performing. Oh, that mega okay. that mega thing this weekend. I don't know what it was because I'm not tapped in like that. Um, I know that they had a Jericho march, and I, I saw that. I was like, "Yeah, like, like, like Jay said, like, are they voting for Biden too, or is this just for Trump?" You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you doing the Jericho march? You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know. I seen, back to back video. to what you was talking about. <laughs> yeah, I seen a video of Tyson and uh, Bryson Gray um, dissing the, the music video. Yeah. No, no, that wasn't even a music video. It was just a song, right? The song they were performing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They were it was. Um, but the, there was of a song, the S right? to the to the SJWs for y'all yeah. don't know the social In justice CHH. of CHH. What did you think of the song, Switch? Uh, I thought it was okay. I thought it was cool. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know. Like, I don't. I just don't get with this whole exclusive mentality in CHH sometimes. Or I don't know if he's considered CHH because I feel like he's new to the community. Right. But, you know, this, it, yeah, this this exclusivity of we know the truth and y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We got okay. God and y'all really don't got God or y'all lukewarm. Right. Y'all not bold enough for Christ. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Um, and that's that. That seems to be a mentality with a with a few CHH uh, individuals. You know what I'm saying? But now he's MAGA. He's different. Like he came in. Uh, he came in on his own wave, like he had his own thing going, and he right. kind of dissed Lecrae, and that's what kind of um, had him hop into our community. Uh, where he, he he mentioned uh, he mentioned two CHH artists in that new song too. Yeah, he did. Uh, he uh, Derek Minor, Derek and Andy, Andy, Andy Minor, yeah. and he yeah. says he don't hear enough what scripture in their music. Right. Yeah. I mean, is that the only way to reach people? Like just scripture on top of scripture on top of scripture? Like I feel like. They, I feel like Andy and Derek do a great job of reaching their audience and reach and and, and capturing the minds of whoever is listening to them. So, mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's kind of weird. Like, I, I just feel like dissing, especially like in CHH or whatever. I think that's kind of I think it's weird to be honest with you. I feel like dissing, like this regular kind of corny. I'm not gonna lie. That's yeah. how I feel personally. Um, and there could be some substance to them, but I don't know. I feel like whenever you're calling out like the biggest names, I feel like there's also an agenda behind why you're calling out, not just because right. of hey, like uh, like oh, I think in the song he said something like I'm just kinda, I'm just trying to hold people accountable, but I feel like there's different avenues of doing so. Mm. I feel like you could you could go to them one on one if they're if they're available to be reached that way, obviously you right. know, go to one on one or or just finding a different way of doing so. I feel like when you put in a song on wax or whatever, and you put out to the word here, like mm-hmm. I don't think that's the best way of doing it. But I mean, I could be wrong. I would love to hear if anybody else has an opinion on that. That's just me. No, nah, I think that's good stuff, man. Maybe pulling the yep. 50. <laughs> Out of Rob, <laughs> CHH, rapper. Okay. I mean, it's okay. working. I mean, we're, you know, people say, oh, you guys talk about them or the crew or Ruslan. And <laughs> they're getting the uh, attention of the media and the artists right. in CHH. Right. Well, that, yeah, that's definitely, I, th- I think that that hey, that was definitely the that, intent. Speak, speaking of that, um, might as well say what's up to his pops. <laughs> what up, What's up Papa Gray? The loop, man. <laughs> Gary, yeah, shout man, out to Gary um, Gray. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to, I want to hear. And, and, what did you think of the song? The song wasn't bad, actually. I mean, I you didn't, you didn't it. think it was bad? No, I didn't think it was a bad song. I mean, it was okay, but mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Um, what is? It's two sides, right? Because it could be, you could see, it could be like Ryan said, you know, like if they're. They got an agenda behind it. Um, that could be one. Right. Other could be like we, you know, it was mentioned before, like he's just overzealous. Oh, right. and they they sampled uh 
crew and Ruslan's voice. They did. Oh, they sure yeah, did. Yeah. Matter of fact, Papa Gray, I'm mad that we wasn't sampled on it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the next one. <laughs> uh, yo, that's a lie. I think that, but go ahead, Switch. What you think? I think people need, like, like what is CHH? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's Christian hip hop, but what is the motive behind Christian hip hop, right? And I feel like people don't understand. I, I think that we need to understand that everybody has um, a different approach in CHH. You know what I'm saying? Some artists are the evangelists. This is their ministry. This is what they consider their ministry. And this is their stepping stone to open up conversations to saving souls, right? Other people see this as a substitute to the world's music in the sense that, you know, the world is you're 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 already saved. Right. And you come from a, 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 a community of hip hop. And so now when you come in, you're looking for a substitute for that kind of hip hop music. And now you have that CHH music. Right. And I think that, you know, people, they kind of want to bunch everybody up. Oh, you got to be a minister or you got to be this or you got to be that. And there there's division with that because, you know, this person probably has their mindset on this is the way they do it. And this person has their mindset on how they do it. You know what I mean? Right. And, you know, you know, I, like me, man, I can't just listen to Jesus is Lord on on a record or Jesus saves on a record all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to hear about you. I want to hear about your experiences with God. What are you going through? You know what I mean? And I know people may feel like, well, maybe, you know, that's not, you know, that's not, but that's just me. Like, I want to hear, I want to oh, hear more depth, on. more depth into your relationship. It's like when Paul says, you know, people are drinking milk and mm -hmm. now it's time to start eating some steak. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, there's the foundation. And yes, we know about that foundation, but I want to know a little bit more. You know what I'm saying about what's going right. on, and then well, sometimes please. that could just be simple. And then you also have people that do worship rap, that their music is literally to glorify and magnify the the beauty of God, who God is, the person of Christ, the Holy Spirit, and all that, all that's good stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, so, yeah. When you first started making music, did you start off like that? I when I was doing music, I was on some. He was, Holy on Paul Washer. <laughs> he was on his Paul Washer. He was on his Paul Holy Roller. But we did it. <laughs> but we did saying. it. We did it with the intention of ministry. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some people do it as a career. And I know some people look at that weird, but some people really want to make a career out of music. You know what I mean? The same way that y'all, a lot of people go to college, they 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 get in debt for four years to get a job because that's their career. It's the same way some musicians do it. They invest I mean, their money and their time into becoming a rapper full time. You know what I'm saying? Now, some people, they have intertwined where they're doing ministry and that has provided for them. You know what I'm saying? But that, I don't think that that needs to be across the board for every individual. You know what I mean? Well, nah, not for everybody, but how do we know that that's not his lane or that's what he wants to do? You know what I'm saying? What do you, oh, you mean uh, Bryson? Yeah, Bryson. No, I'm I'm just I'm just giving into the whole cr critique of, you know. Oh yeah, by him critiquing everybody. Yeah, scripture like right. you know what I'm saying. All right, but and I, I don't even I'm, hear that much scripture in his verses like that. I just hear God and MAGA and guns yeah, nah. and, and Second Amendment. <laughs> I think I think God and Trump might be up there in his comments, like <laughs> right. Um, but but what I'm saying, what I was gonna say is, you started off. You said with the purpose of ministry, and then you went on to make the music just whatever you felt like doing yeah well, that, what, what that, made you switch that though well that happened years down the line because i had kind of like departed from walking in my walk and then when i came back i just didn't want to come like i now i look at ministry in such a different light like ministry is like you got to really be called and prepared for that you know what i'm saying it can't just because you skilled you think, yo, I'm a minister. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, and when you look, when you look at um the word, you know, uh, what was it in Acts when Paul was like, or the disciples, let me not say Paul, but the disciples were like, 
look, you know, we can't serve tables. Like, that's not our responsibility. Our responsibility is go out there and preach the gospel. You know what I'm saying? And pray and, and, and whatever. Now, that doesn't take away from the individuals that are serving the tables, but their main focus is to serve the tables or, or whatever it is that that specific uh, uh, line of ministry is for. You know what I'm saying? So I think, you know, I have a, I have I have my, my gripes about, you know, people thinking that you rap on stage, you get an honorarium and you're doing ministry. That's not ministry right. to me. Ministry is building with people. It's what Hog Mob is doing, a discipleship program. Mm -hmm. right. uh, we reaching out to people. We're discipling them. We're uh, uh, teaching them the word of God. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not, oh, I'm going to go. I mean, you, you, you can have the role of an evangelist while you're working with other churches, but that to me just isn't ministry. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like sometimes because of your skill, people want to push you right into ministry. And it's like, whoa. I ain't a minute. I ain't ready for ministry. You know what I'm saying? Right, like right. there's there's certain guidelines that you need to have to be a minister. You know what I mean? Or right, or, right. Or, or, I think or, I think I think um, you see, I think that's the church's fault though, leadership's fault because I think a lot of times when when you come to the faith, for a long time I was like, well, you a Christian? I guess I guess I'll become a pastor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and now it's like. Well, I used to rap and I'm a Christian. I guess I'll be a Christian rapper. You know what I'm saying? And and yeah. so and then a lot of folks um put you in that role when you're not ready, when you haven't been discipled, you know what I mean? When you're not you haven't been seasoned and you're like remember like when Paul was on the road to Damascus, man, you know what I mean? And 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 he got saved, like he sat down. He sat down for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Nobody threw him up. You know what I'm saying? In, 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 in the limelight, it was like, yo, you know the Torah, so we're going to put you up in the front. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. nah, your man sat down, you know, and he mm -hmm. was discipled. And I think, like, I'm not saying, like, you shouldn't rap, but I think I think that I think that as as as, as the body, as a church, we we sometimes um, because, you know, people who have a zealous heart for the Lord or whatever, like, you want to push them up to the forefront. Um, and I think that that could be dangerous. You know, you see a lot of dudes fall away because I think that a lot of it is just too much too soon, you know, yeah. um, you know, yeah. and, and, and ministry isn't, you know, like you were saying, like rapping in front of a church about Jesus and selling T-shirts to me oh, is not yeah. ministry. Right. You know, like what you said, hog mom, what they doing, that looks a lot more like what the Bible's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because the Bible says to make disciples, you know, right. yeah. not or kingdom. Uh, What is it? Uh, Kingdom. King music? Yeah, kingdom music, kingdom music, KMF. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but I was getting what I was getting to switch was that to see if it was. Um, did you have like someone discipling you? Did you have someone, you know, what I'm saying that that kind of um, mentored you know, me, mentoring you? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And that's the and thing, was, right? And, and you you also connected with your with your local church. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, that's, that's another, another thing, thing too. We don't like, know. Right? Well, yeah, Where's his? And, and and that's the thing. I, I you know I, I would like to know like yo you know who you connected with you know right who you know what I mean what's your what's your, what's kind of your theology or what you believe and stuff like that. So yeah, I think he's it's almost shabba. like yo. I, I just, get the impression he's super shabba. Huh? Yeah, it, I just don't like the exclusiveness. Like, bro, it's not just you. Like, there's other people out here that are doing the work. You know what I'm saying? Um. So, yeah, that's just my opinion on the whole situation. I hope that, you know, people can build together. But I also don't like the patriotism that's attached to it as well. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I don't know, I kind of feel like that's so dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm not anti-American. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I enjoy the liberty that we have or whatever kind of freedom that we quote, yeah. quote, have. Um, I just know, think I, his is, he puts his up there with God. The, the patriotism is it just reminds me of the back in the old days where people would take, you know, this is what God wants. So let's enforce this through, you know, and let's mingle the two. You know what I'm saying? Right. And like that's how like slavery was. You know what I mean? Not, and not to say that that's what he's doing, but that's similar. You know what I mean? Where it's like, well, you're going to use the Bible to enforce our laws and uh, other land and stuff like that. And. It just doesn't it doesn't always mesh, you know what I mean? So I think sometimes patriotism is 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 a dangerous um 
space to be in, especially if we talking about we from we about the kingdom business. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like we're not about American business. <laughs> Jay, Jay, what did you think about the song? Um, to be honest, I didn't listen to it. <laughs> was there a reason why you just like I ain't I ain't yeah, like, oh, it's, it's not one more because Lecrae is his <laughs> favorite rapper what are you what are y'all saying no no not even that it's just like you know he it's been more than one time and obviously he called out Lecrae um, now he has this track he called out Crew and Ruslan or whatever mm-hmm. but you know well he ain't really called him out he nah, just, he just he, played a sample he just sound, yeah but I know okay, what he was sure. trying to it seems what yeah, 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 impression yeah, yeah. he but he definitely but did what call they talk out about. What, what did uh, what did Jay say from a uh, crew? He was like, he said it's not rap, CHH. It's yeah. not CHH. And then Ruslan, you know, was talking about everything. And then he, we, we, we uh, tweeted the 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 video, and we said like, hey, you guys got, you know, uh, you guys got called out. And then Ruslan was like, that they that they're gonna have to come better. You know, right? Come back better because if he's not even gonna give him attention, you know, with that. And then, you know, he said Bryson's delivery was whack. Bruce That's his opinion. Bruce talking That's like his button. Opinion. Bruce not talking know. like button, ain't he? Got enough for me to come out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it is what it is. I don't know. I mean, I don't know, Bryson. <laughs> From a marketing p- perspective, he's doing. He's doing a good job yes. because everybody's talking about yes. it. Yes, yeah, that's true. He got the so. Yosemite Sam MAGA hat. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so. Hey. Yo, Gary, holla at me. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking like he's a man. Like right. Right. He's uh, going right. to be in the comments he's posting telling, more links of his video. Because he's going to be right. He's going to be in the comments. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be just y'all, everybody, just be careful. You know what I mean? Like with this whole exclusivity, like we only hear from God and we know God because we have a deeper revelation. Well, than I mean, else. that's that's kind of like what people were doing with the elections, too, though. Like it seemed like a lot of folks were acting like if you're not voting for Trump, you're not Christian because you support the 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 baby of borders. You know what I'm saying? Like. And that was like the whole narrative the whole time. And so I, I, I think that that a lot of people in that demographic feel that way, you know, and that's just what it that's just what it is. They feel like that that's um uh God's candidate, that's God's uh uh party, right? Political party. And that's just you can't tell them otherwise because they they, they feel that the the scripture and the prophets confirm everything they believe. <laughs> that's true. And what is a social justice warrior? That's what I want to know because Christ was against injustices. You know what I'm saying? Right. And to to what extent is this so? What's a social justice warrior? Is it like uh someone who's into the Black Lives Matter movement? Is it like, I want to know what their position is on that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, we're for abortion. We, I mean, we're... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, I think I might go, Even Ryan what? was like, nah. I got nah. for hey, I gotta, abortion. I, I got to hey. go. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. We're not Ryan. for abortion. <laughs> right, um, right. We're not for oh. abortion. So. Uh, <laughs> Yo, they're going to use they're gonna use that Yo. in the ad. Like, nah, yeah. that's M- it. M- Mr. Oh. Editor, Mr. Editor, please oh, get at, that part. <laughs> they're going to... They're gonna, but basically, we're not for. Yo, abortion. Kyle and Gary are gonna have a great time with that comment. <laughs> Yo, and I'm my thing is I'm like, and that's all I've I've heard from like Lecrae's stance is like he's not for abortion. And he did it. He did a video addressing that. Like I'm not. I'm not. And for I know abortion. people were like, oh, just address the answer. No, it's like there's, it's more. It's complex. Is it, it's not just. Oh, okay. Uh, it is. It is. Yes, abortion is murder. Abortion is wrong. Sure, but it's like the same thing when someone wants to commit suicide. That's wrong, right? But yeah. do you go and tell that person, "Yo, suicide is wrong." Um, uh, you know, if somebody's about to kill themselves. Do you just go and attack them, or do you try to reason with them to show them, like, "Yo, this is wrong. This is why. This is what the scripture says about it." 
let's seek help. Let's do something about this. You know what I'm saying? I think there's just different approaches when it comes to right. something. You know what I mean? And and that's kind of how I feel about abortion. It, it, it's, you know, we do have to consider the situation that the female's in. You know what I'm saying? Or or how this came about. But there has to be that conversation. You know what I'm saying? It can't. It can. It, yeah, it's murder. It's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Once once it's done, it's 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 a horrific sin in front of God. You know what I mean? We won't never stop saying that. But it's just the approach to it. You know what I mean? How are we going to approach this? How can we? Uh, prevent this from happening so that's my opinion on the whole situation sample that <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was good that was good that was good insight that was cool yeah. he said sample that so, yeah, please sample cool. that <laughs> well uh we want to thank ryan uh for coming through and yeah, appreciate you bro this episode where can people find you let them know let them know the details um sure so um of course you can find me as a no. <laughs> Yo, he got to come well, back to do his outro. Yo, yeah. for real. Gotta, All right. We got to well, hold up. We got to hold up. Hold. In, in the meantime, um, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Like we mentioned it before, 68% of you or 65% of you that watch our videos are not subscribed. Yo, Yo so I don't know how accurate. Hit button for us. Yes, hit the subscribe, like, comment, and share. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yo, um, I don't know how accurate this site is um, because I just haven't done the math. I haven't done the addition yet. But Social Blade said we're getting 30,000 streams a month. Did y'all see that? Yeah, I saw that. I was like, what? I was like, wait. I was like... (laughs) 30,000. But I don't don't know. I don't know if it's... uh, if it's like through all streaming platforms, you know what I'm saying? Like like Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Apple. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, listen, bro, that's a lot of streams. Listen. We are the fastest the f- growing Christian podcast. Yes, right. We are the fastest growing Christian podcast. <laughs> and we got some so. we got some big things popping. You know what I'm saying? We got you said that already. Things, man. I did, man, but I'm just so excited, man. I can't, I can't, I can't wait till you know what I mean. This joint is done and we can R- tell- Ryan's jumping back on, by the way. So Let's let us let us let us probably wait for him so he can plug his yeah. socials. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Hey, 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 hey yo, here hey, we go. Ask, hey, ask me quick because yo, my laptop has been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let him know. Let him know. All so, right. So cool. that definitely join the Patreon to help Ryan with his laptop. Thank you, <laughs> Bam, I'm telling you. Okay, real talk. Uh, as a producer artist, you can find me on Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere. Uh, Ryan Little. Uh, you can find me there. I'm also on YouTube, Ryan Little. Uh, social media, Instagram, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I am Ryan Little. I am R Y A N L I T T L E. Anywhere else, I think that is it. If you have any email inquiries, I am Ryan Little at gmail.com. And yeah, anything you need, just hit me up. I got you guys. Um, and again, thank you guys for having me. This was awesome. For coming, man. man, appreciate it, man. Again, with all the, the technical stuff still, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. If I if you have me back again, I promise you this won't be an issue. I got you. I got y'all next time. I promise y'all. But, uh, but again, thank you. This this was fun, man. You guys are amazing, and uh, yeah, keep that. this going, man. This is this is we, this some good stuff. So for real, keep this going. We we definitely appreciate you. Appreciate y'all. And for you guys that don't know out there, when you hear that intro and that outro, that's our right. boy right here, man. Appreciate y'all, right. man. Right. Appreciate y'all. It thank is, you, thank you. Yeah. With that being said, thank you. Hit the subscribe button, like I said. 68% of you don't are not subscribed. So this is why I'm telling you again, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Let's YouTube know uh, that you enjoy the videos and they'll push it out to more people. Um, if you haven't already, get your merch at shop.that'snotchristian.com. Use promo code TNC to get 10% off. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. And if not, Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Peace. Christmas. Good story. Happy birthday, Jesus. Hey. Well, Unofficial. Well, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> well, you know. Happy winter solstice. Yeah. Yeah. Very solstice. Thank you, listeners. Merry Saturnalia. Saturnalia. All right. Thank you, listeners. Peace. Peace. Peace.